On the faraway continent of Norzelia, three mighty powers reigned. The Kingdom of Glenbrook, through which runs the mighty Norzelia River, bringing flourishing trade. The Grand Duchy of Esfrost, a land of ice and snow beneath which slumbers rich veins of iron. And in the desert, the holy state of Hyzant, home to the lake from which is harvested the salt essential to life. With each nation controlling one vital resource, conflict between these three powers was all too common. Minor disputes and skirmishes gave rise to fierce battles, and before long, the realm was engulfed in a bloody conflict that would rage on for years. Many died in what came to be known as the Salt Iron War. Brought to their limits and facing their mutual demise, the three powers at last negotiated a truce. Peace came to Norzelia, but only briefly. Shortly after assuming power in Esfrost, Archduke Gustadolf launched a surprise invasion of the neighboring kingdom of Glenbrook. The might of the Esfrostian forces, under the command of the formidable General of Lora, easily overwhelmed Glenbrook's crown city. Before any could comprehend the meaning of what was happening, the once proud Whiteholm Castle had fallen. Learning of the attack, House Wolfort, highest of the three high houses of Glenbrook, rushes to the royal family's aid. Leading the charge is none other than young Saranoa, who has only just taken over the mantle of lordship from his father. At his side are Benedict, House Wolfort's advisor and a veteran of the Salt Iron War, Roland, the younger prince of Glenbrook and Saranoa's childhood friend, and Frederica, his betrothed, who hails from the very duchy they now call foe. A new war is kindling, fanned by the unwavering convictions held by the rulers of these lands. And though they may not yet know it, Serenoa and his comrades are heading straight into the pyre. Esfrost's forces have breached the once proud walls of Whiteholm and now overrun its majestic halls, leaving only death and destruction in their wake. Like bloodthirsty beasts, they search, eager to carry out Archduke Gustadolf's orders to kill any member of the royal family on sight. With the very future of the kingdom hanging in the balance, Serenoa hurries to the throne room as fast as his legs can carry him. Do they... Do they mean to hurt us? They will do no such thing, my princess. Not so long as I draw breath. Cease the vainglorious theatrics. The city is mine now, and not a soul loyal to his grace still lives. Not even the Dawn Spear could hope to triumph against such odds. You talk and talk, but do you have the courage to test your words? This is folly, Gustadolf. What madness has possessed you? Is this how you would take revenge for what befell your father? Nothing so petty as that, Ragnar. 
The war and all its atrocities should remain buried in the past. Then what drives you to commit new ones? To tear down the future we labored so long to achieve? Do you think High Sant will stand idly by while Glenbrook burns? I shudder to think what ends you hope to achieve by such vile means. <laughs> You always did lack imagination. However, not even I foresaw the opportunity this foolish partnership would afford me. As for Hyzant, she shall meet the same fate as your beloved kingdom before long. Whatever your aims may be, you'll never... Father! Are you hurt? Roland? Brother? You imbecile! Why do you return? Be grateful to see me for once. I wasn't about to leave you to these wolves. You stone-headed brat! If it isn't my dear Frederica and her newly betrothed, and you've brought friends. Stand down at once! On the honor of House Walford, we shall not let the royal family come to harm. So you're the young one. You have courage, if not much sense. I'll give you that. Brother, what is the meaning of this? I am sorry for forcing this unpleasant scene upon you, Frederica. I had to take action. Sooner than anticipated. Action? What do you... Listen well. I, Gustadolf Esfrost, do hereby condemn the King of Glenbrook and his agents for their treacherous deeds. Scheming to claim the riches of the Grand Norzellian Mines their own, they slaughtered my dear cousin Dragan in cold blood. For this most heinous crime, and for shattering the trust between our nations out of malice, I declare their punishment must be swift and final. So this is the lie you would leave. What mummery is this? Dragon was killed by... Silence, my lord. Benedict? I commend you for delivering the traitorous Prince Roland to me. He too must answer for his crimes. Hand him over, and House Wolfort may yet see itself through this unscathed. You are my dear sister's husband-to-be. Bend the knee. And no harm shall befall you. I will do no such thing. We won't be party to your treachery. Your father was ever a thorn in my side. You seem intent on repeating that history. However, I fear you will not live long enough to accomplish it. General of Laura, kill them all. Yes, my lord. Stop! I won't let you- ah! Brother! Ah! Sir Maxwell, leave me! Take Roland to safety! <sighs> yes, my lord. My prince, with me. I can't leave them! Step aside, Sir Maxwell! My lord, we must flee at once. But his grace... Roland! Lord Walford! There is no saving me. The future of Glenbrook lies in your hands now. Father! My prince, follow us. But I... Damn it all! After them. You would once again see Norzelia? Bathed in blood, Gustavov? Truly, you are lost. This land has long been lost, Regna. But it need be no longer. This is where Sir Maxwell would have us wait. He is readying the boat for our escape as we speak. 
A wise decision. No doubt the river is our only hope of getting out of the city alive. The streets are overrun with S. Frosty soldiers. Our foe no doubt searches for us on the other side of this very gate. Then we wait here and pray for Sir Maxwell's swift return. Father. Frenny. Cordelia. And what is she doing with us? She's with the enemy! What? No! I, I had no idea! Lies! It was your own brother that attacked the city! If I had any idea he was planning such atrocities, I would have stopped him. He's... I know not what's possessed him. My lady speaks the truth. We are as shocked and torn by this turn of events as you. Enough, Hewitt! We can't be clawing at each other's throats with the S. Frosty army looking to hunt us down like dogs. My emotions got the better of me for a moment. Forgive me. Hewitt means no ill, my lady. Her fellow members of the Kingsguard were slain before her eyes. For now, let us focus on the present. Prince Roland's safety and escape are our main concerns. Of course. These are trying times, but we mustn't let emotions cloud our judgment. Benedict, you stopped me from speaking the truth of Dragon's death. To what end? Gustadolf would frame Glenbrook for Lord Dragan's murder and claim it as pretext for his invasion. If he knew we witnessed the truth, our heads would already be on pikes. It would seem he still intends to put them there. Because you spat in the face of his demands. What we know could expose his claims as the treacherous lies they are. If it came to light that Gustadolf orchestrated his own cousin's murder, no one would dare stand by his side. Indeed, however, words have little substance on their own, especially when weighed against the power and influence the Archduke commands. Your truth would be taken as the pathetic ramblings of a desperate man. Once again, your wisdom makes me feel the fool. No, we are all fumbling through these dark times. You spoke and acted as the Lord of House Woolfort, and did so admirably. And yet my actions have put everyone in danger. Father would have known better. Let us look forward, my lord, not back. There are truths yet cloaked in the shadows. We must survive and see them brought to light, for these truths shall be the weapons by which we lay S. Frost low. Thank you, Benedict. I promise to do all in my power to see us through this safely, every last one of us. I know you will, my lord. Let us await Sir Maxwell's arrival.
My lord, please reconsider. As Frost's numbers are overwhelming, we would only be sending our men to their doom. I will not stand idly by as the capital burns! Move, you fool! I'll go by myself if I must! Oh, make that bastard Gustadolf remember how true my aim is! It's too late, my lord. Whiteholm has fallen, and the capital has been taken. Damn it all. Does his grace and the royal family still live? There is no news, my lord. Heavens be good. A dream of peace so soon dashed asunder. And under my watch. Your grace, pray live long enough that I might atone for my failure in person. My lord, I fear there are other concerns. The Asfrosti army may not stop at the capital. Yes. The three great houses might still unite against them. We must prepare for the worst. Raise the alarm. It's time to muster our defenses. House folks will not surrender without a fight. My prince, I'm sorry to have kept you waiting. I've managed to procure a boat for our escape. It should arrive anon. Thank you, Sir Maxwell. Would that I could have done more. You did well to stand against Gustadolf. Your father would have been proud to see it. Let's save the pleasantries until we're through the gate, huh? Everyone ready? We are. Open the gates, Eridor! Whatever you say, my lord. Here's hoping we can make it through without those bastards on the shore noticing. Over there! Ah, there's too many of them. We need to turn back! Damn it! They shut us in! Is this it? If this is where I fall, I'm taking these S Frosty bastards with me! Don't be so quick to throw your life away, my prince. Yes, we haven't lost hope yet. The boat will arrive shortly. We only need to fend them off until then. Can we do that? I fail to see why not. If you lend us your sword, that is. As if I would do aught else. Form around the prince. Protect him. The prince is on the bridge! Seize him! They pour from the castle like rats. I shall defend the rear.
The gate to the drawbridge is shut tight. We must find a way to open it, and quickly. There should be a mechanism nearby. Leave our pursuers to me! Open the gate, whatever it takes! Victory! There is no mercy on the battlefield. Not an option. the dawn speed. Let me heal your wounds. Come at me! Time for some research. Allow me.
allow me. You're wide open. For victory! The hunt is on. Let us pry out their weakness. You have nothing left. Have another! I shan't hold back. Ah! Defeat is not an option. Hit the mark. My turn. It's the prince. Seize him. Quickly now, before more arrive. I shall do what I can. You have my gratitude. I'll take you on! Your orders? Over. I won't lose! This battle is ours! I fight for peace. Go! 
Oh, impossible! Oh, careless of me! I shall try my level best. The dawn speed. Just as I planned. Following up. Defeat is not an option. Victory! This is it! Did you see that? Time to take flight! Shall we begin? My thanks. Come at me! I shan't hold back. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Splendid!
won't lose! Take that! We win. For my kingdom! Time to take flight. This ends now! Victory is ours! Just die already! The winds of change are blowing. My honor as the Dawn Spear. This isn't good. You won't beat me! There is no mercy on the battlefield. Where was I? My turn. From where shall we strike? Allow me. Go! For victory! The hunt is on. On my honor as the Dawn Spear. Let us pry out their weakness. Ready for more! For the future of House Wolford. My turn. Shall we begin? Thank you. I've been waiting for this. Where was I? From where shall we strike? I won't lose! The hunt is on!
Let me show you what I've learned. I shall protect you. Your orders? It's open! Go! Don't let them escape! Capture the royal family! Kill any others who stand in your way! Protect the prince! No matter how many come, our blades will keep them at bay. They've overrun the bridge already. Very well. We cut our way through. I must grow. Let me heal your wounds. Thank you. Knowledge is strength. I've been waiting for this. the dawn speed. I will end this. on.
Leave it to me! Yes! Four. shall prevail. Sorry to worry you. I'll take you on! I will end this. This will prove useful. I shan't hold back. Just as I planned! I see a path to victory. Sloppy! That seemed to work. Charge! Time to work. I must hold firm. Shall we begin? I appreciate it. Come at me! Interesting. 
I see a path to victory. Now! Just die already! Hurts, don't it! I won't lose! Flight. The boat arrives! Come, with speed! Prince Roland! Will you leave your brother unavenged? You! Go! Leave this place. The Archduke will be content with your father's head. Never. S. Ross will answer for its crimes today. Your Highness! A shame. You might have lived a long life. So long as I stand, you'll do him no harm. Sir Maxwell! My Prince, you are responsible for more than just your own life now. You are a leader, and must be the beacon others look to when the night is darkest. My friends of House Wolfort, I leave Prince Roland in your care. Let me go! Release him to me, and there may be mercy for you yet, Maxwell. Tis you who should be seeking mercy. Must you do this? Very well. Shows what they can do when the stakes are so trifling. I could not have said it better myself. How do you still stand? You were this realm's fiercest warrior, Dawn Spear. But today your sun sets, and a new age begins.
And so it was that the once proud kingdom of Glenbrook did fall. Esfrost seized control of the Crown City, threatening to bring the surrounding domains under its iron yoke. Now the Archduke's army marches upon House Walford's stronghold, where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. Your most honorable siblings, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, have arrived, my lord. Thank you for the escort. You may go now. If there is anything else that you require, anything at all, you need but say the word. Case, I would have a bottle of the realm's finest wine and a serving of fresh fruit delivered to my quarters. But of course, milady, I shall have the servants fetch it at once. Ever eager to please, isn't he? I believe the word you're looking for is sycophant. Congratulations on bringing Glenbrook to its knees, brother. It's a thing of beauty, what you've accomplished. I trust you're already seeing to that fuss outside the castle walls? Of course. The other domains are putting up little in the way of resistance. Lord Tellior trembles in his seat within the stronghold. And Lord Fox was oblivious to what was happening until it was far too late. How easily the three great houses of Glenbrook break under your iron boot, brother. Wolford is the last to hold out, but Avlora will deal with them. Prince Roland will be in our hands before long. <sighs> Speaking of royalty, brother, I would have thought Cordelia would be dead or rotting in jail. Yet here she sits on the throne. She looks less a vanquished princess and more a queen. That is precisely what I would have her be. Whatever do you mean? Once things have calmed, I shall assume guardianship over her and have her crowned. 
A few days hence, Regna will be executed. I've already informed Patriot as much. So the wise and benevolent King Regna meets his end at last. <laughs> Father! Subjects of Glenbrook, I am Gustadolf, Archduke and High Commander of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Hear my words. The sins King Regna has committed against us, and against you, his own people, are grievous indeed. <sighs> Three decades have passed since the end of the war. In the years since, we have all done what we can to rebuild our nations. The opening of the Grand Norzelian Mines was to be the dawn of a new age. An age where our three nations would work together for the peace and prosperity of all. But King Regna spat in the face of that glorious dream. As our engineers worked tirelessly to put success within reach, your King Regna schemed in the shadows to seize control of the mine for his own profit. And when Dragan Esfrost, my dear cousin, and the man tasked with overseeing the mine's operations, became aware of this plot, King Regna had him assassinated in cold blood. In doing so, he betrayed not only my own nation and the holy state of Hyzant, but you as well. The very people who were to share in the wealth the mine would bring. And so we were left with no choice but to march on Whiteholm Castle and put an end to Regna's treachery by force. Our actions were born of a righteous duty to avenge Dragan's murder and this odious betrayal of this historic accord between our nations. What say you, King Regna? Do you deny these charges against you? <sighs> I do not. But I beg of you, spare my children. Subjects of Glenbrook, your traitor king admits his guilt before you. The punishment for these crimes is death. Off with his head! Roland. Cordelia. The future of our kingdom is in your hands now. Just days after the fall of the Crown City, King Regna of Glenbrook is beheaded before his subjects. The death of this kind and benevolent monarch plunges the realm into confusion and chaos. With the king perishes an all too short-lived era of peace, and in its place, one of bloodshed and turmoil. Grace, 
House Fox has failed you. I have failed you! Hi, House! Damn it all! When you needed us most, we were not there to answer the call. How did we not see what they were plotting? How did we not know to go to your aid? But no, cursing our fate will not bring you back to us. We must focus our efforts on the one who might yet save Glenbrook from downfall. We must protect Prince Roland with our lives. Minister Sorsley. What is it this time, Booker? We've just received word that S. Frost has launched a surprise invasion of Glenbrook. Whiteholm burns as we speak. What's this? The Crown City has fallen. King Regna was beheaded. And it is said Crown Prince Franny also perished in the fray. Prince Roland has fled to the domain of House Woolfort, with the Grand Duchy's army in close pursuit. Goddess forbid. What could the Archduke be plotting? And what did the others think of the matter? At any rate, I must speak with His Holiness at once. Minister, if I may assuage you, I propose that perhaps this situation may yet play to House End's benefit. Our benefit, you say? Indeed. Indeed, you may have the right of it. My dear Booker, whatever would House End do without you? Send a raven to His Holiness. Tell him that his faithful servant, Sorsley, would humbly beg an audience. At once, Master. Whatever is House Tellior to do. With King Regna gone, we must find a way to preserve ourselves. Landroy, that proud fool, will no doubt fight to the bitter end. But House Fox alone is no match for the Grand Duchy. Uh, yet if House Wolford were to fight at their side, they say Prince Roland is in Wolford's charge. If this is true, there's a good chance they will join the fray. Or will they? The Wolforts may choose to ransom the Prince to Esfrost, 
in return for amnesty for their own domain. If it comes to that, Esfrost will either kill the prince and princess, or use them as their pawns, and Glenbrook will fall. Bending the knee to Esfrost may be our only hope if we are to live to see tomorrow. Lord Serenoa! Oh, thank the heavens that you're safe. It is good to be home. Castle Wolfort is the most impregnable stronghold in all the kingdom. You will be safe here, your highness. Thank you. I can only hope Father and Sir Maxwell are safe as well. Benedict, there is news. What's the matter, Benedict? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Your Highness, my lord, pray try to remain calm. His grace was beheaded at the Crown City not bells ago. Father... No... Say it is not so! Roland... I can only imagine what you're feeling now, Your Highness, but I fear we have not the luxury of grieving. As the last living heir to the throne, there is no doubt that the Archduke will target you next. Indeed, we must move quickly. I would seek Father's counsel. About Lord Simone. Huh? What is it? Has something befallen Father? Father! Lord Simon, what is the meaning of this? He collapsed when he heard the news from the Crown City, and has not opened his eyes since. You must be mad! The man was stronger than an ox! We cannot afford to lose Lord Simon. Not now, of all times. Father! Be strong, Father. This realm still needs you. I still need you. Father. Father. Sarah Noah. Is there any chance he will recover? Our healers are doing everything they can, but none can say. Very well. Do not give up hope, Zeranoa. The malady will not take your father easily. Forgive me, Roland. I can only imagine what you feel now. I must stay strong. I cannot allow father's death to be in vain. You too must remain composed. For Lord Simon. And for those who now look to you for guidance in his stead. I will try. Pardon me, my lord. I come bearing a message. From whom? The scout we had sent in search of Sir Maxwell returned with this. Sir Maxwell's mask. Reports have it that it was found near Whiteholm Bridge. 
Blood. No, it cannot be. This mask was all that was found, you say? The bridge was all but overflowing with the bodies of the fallen. It was not possible to ascertain all of their identities. And the swift course of the river thwarted any efforts to search further. I see. Thank you for the report. Get some rest. You have earned it. Yes, my lord. Sir Maxwell, you too abandon me now? Ah. Oh. At Gustadolf's command, S. Frost musters its forces at Whiteholm Castle and commences a march on the Wolfort Domain. Their aim, to seize in their clutches Prince Roland, the unwilling heir to Glenbrook's throne. My lord, the Esfrosti army advances on us as we speak. A missive has arrived from Lord Gustadolf. It says they will stand down on the condition that we surrender Prince Roland to them at once. We've not much time before they're on our doorstep, my lord. Word has it that General Avlora herself heads the vanguard. Gustadolf's not taken any chances. The scheming bastard. <sighs> Summon the War Council at once. We must take swift action. Be serious about this. It's all right, Frederica. Please continue, Benedict. Thank you. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? I say we refuse. We owe Sir Maxwell that much. Precisely. Sir Maxwell entrusted us with keeping his highness safe, and we accepted. There's no place in the realm more sheltered by the terrain than this castle. He is safer here than anywhere. And yet, if the Archduke were to march on us with an army as great as the one that took the Crown City, or, heaven forbid, a greater one, the natural fortifications of this land would work against us. Our shelter would become our jail. So you propose that we just abandon him? That we sacrifice his life for our own protection? Better my life than any of yours. This is my battle. I would not see the blood of my friends spilt in my name. I see, your highness, that's where you're wrong. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. You go to battle, we go with you. So it's always been. Enough! I will leave before I see your domain ravaged by fighting. It is the only way. Surely you see this, yes? I refuse to believe sacrificing any of us is the correct path. My lord, we cannot allow war to come to the Wolfort domain. 
your highest priority must be to your loyal subjects. There is a case to be made for either course of action. As the master of this domain, you and no other must decide how we proceed. I understand that, Benedict. Prepare the scales of conviction. I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. Sun's a harsh mistress, ain't she? If she sticks around much longer, my fields are apt to wither from the attention. I'd give my firstborn for a drop of rain. Aye, and it ain't just the crops water worse for wear. I'd cry over her a lot, but not but dust would pour from my eyes. How pitiless the caprices of nature. What grudge do the heavens bear to make the poor souls who tend the land suffer so? I would be remiss to let such suffering continue. If fate will show you no mercy, then I shall. You begged for even a single drop of rain. I shall give you more. Behold, as I flood this desiccated land with nourishment. Huh? What's that the lady said? I believe she means to pull rain from a cloudless sky. Ha! I'd have more luck getting milk from a bull. You must tell me if you do. We're in sore need of a miracle. A pleasure is always to see you, Lord. You've come just in time. This lass is about to put on a show. I am called Dizana. Allow me to banish the sun's cruel rays from your domain, that your people may see a measure of succor. Banish the sun? I wasn't aware it was in the habit of taking orders. Slap my ass like I was just born. Rain! Honest to goodness, rain! How did... I, I've never witnessed a miracle like this. Izana, was it? On behalf of my people, allow me to express to you my deepest gratitude. There is no need for such formalities. I seek only to alleviate the suffering of the downtrodden in any way I can. If it is not too bold of me to ask, do you have need of a humble shaman within your ranks? It would be an honor to serve you, my lord. Tales of House Wolfort's magnanimity have reached even my remote village. 
We would welcome you with open arms, and the honor would be entirely ours. Doubtless we will have occasion to call upon your talents sooner rather than later. I will give the signal when it is time to cast your vote. I ask each of you to weigh the matter carefully till then. Very well, my lord. To our own councils we go.
Saranoa. What do you need? I... Lord Saranoa. Aye, lad. Lord Saranoa. You're onto something. Consider this. Tough spot we're in.
Hmm. Interesting indeed. However... I am decided. I wonder. Lord Saranoa. case. However, It is time to cast our votes. Approach the scales of conviction. I believe in you. Forgive me, my lord. So... I agree. You won me over. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. The judgment is made. The scales tip, and our path is chosen. We must steel ourselves for the battle that lies ahead. Very well. Then I will do all in my power to see that it proves the right one. 
I fight with you, my friend. Prepare the defenses. We will hold our own against the army of Esfrost. After consulting the scales and reaching a consensus, House Walford resolved to shelter Prince Roland. Not long after, they find themselves besieged by an elite subset of Esfrost's forces. Commanding the Duchy's armies is none other than General of Laura, the deadly warrior who claimed the lives of Prince Franny and Sir Maxwell with her own hands. Pardon the intrusion, Your Grace. A raven's arrived from House Wolfert. Concerning Prince Roland, no doubt? Hmm. So they refuse to relinquish him to us. How intriguing. They will remain loyal to the royal family even if it means their demise. Very well. Send a raven to General of Laura. Tell her to make for the Wolfort Domain at once, and that she is to return with the Prince, or not at all. Yes, Your Grace. You are aware that Prince Roland fled to the Wolfert Domain after the Crown City fell. Esfrost demanded that His Highness be relinquished to their custody immediately. We have just received word that Wolfert refused. A most admirable display of loyalty to Glenbrook's royal family if ever I have seen one. And they are not the only ones who shall remain true. In the name of King Regna, House Fox II will take up arms against those Esfrosty bastards! For we are one of the three high houses of Glenbrook. We will live up to that name and fight for our homeland with our lives! Aye! May your shields be strong and your sword strike true, my countrymen. For Glenbrook!
So they would rather die than bend the knee? Woolfort truly is a house of fools. At least Avlora will have the chance to prove herself on the battlefield. That's why we took her in, no? She'll prove useful yet. For her own sake, I would hope so. Once we bring down the highest of the three high houses, what do you suppose will become of the other two? <laughs> I should think the answer obvious, dear sister. The cowardly Tellyors will be at our beck and call. The Falks, too stubbornly loyal for their own good, will not. House Falks presides over bountiful lands. Now, do you suppose Brother will pass up the chance to claim such a tantalizing prize? Indeed not, brother dear. Ah, Lord Tellior. There you are. Yes. What is it? Tidings from Whitehall, my lord. House Wolfort shelters Prince Roland within their domain and refuses to acquiesce to Esfrost's demands. What's this? Those fools would stand in defiance against the Duchy. The Archduke's forces move against the Wolforts as we speak. They intend to capture Prince Roland and bring down House Wolfort in one fell swoop. Hmm. House Wolfort is strong, but not strong enough for a full on attack from the Duchy's forces. And yet, there is always the chance, however slim, that they will prevail. Best wait and see how the situation unfolds. Yes, there is no need to rush into anything. We must consider carefully what will afford us the best chance of survival. Continue to keep your eye on the other domains. I must know of any movement among the wolf forts and the fox, no matter how inconsequential. Yes, my lord. Avlora? Are you certain? Yes. We are surrounded by the Archduke's main forces, led by General Avlora herself. She killed my brother and my master. I must avenge them, even if it means my life. Your Highness, your life is far too important to so blithely throw away. I know that, and yet... Facing the Esfrosty forces head-on is a fool's errand. They will drive us back with ease. Let us consider another strategy. As a matter of fact, there is more to this town than meets the eye. 
It is a secret which, under normal circumstances, would be divulged to a new lord only after their succession is made official. But desperate times. I sent a man just now to make preparations. Come with me. We haven't much time. I would hear more of your plan, Master Benedict. They say Castle Woolfort was built into a mountainside. Am I to believe there are yet more secrets concealed in its construction? Just so. As it happens, a contrivance of sorts was installed in the town to be used only in cases of dire emergency. What manner of contrivance? I've never heard such a thing. You wouldn't have. The information is divulged only to the Lord of the House and his closest advisors. It is a secret, one that embodies this town's true worth. I see. Then what, pray tell, is this town's true worth? The towering walls that rise up in all directions, the network of sloped waterways, this town appears as any other to my eye, but perhaps my gaze is untrained. It is the canals we will use. We shall pour flaming oil into them from above and burn our enemy out. What in the... Benedict, have you gone mad? Do you see those hawk sculptures located throughout the town? I do. They are the means by which the weapon may be activated, I presume. Indeed. Tearing them down will trigger a barrier to rise around the canals. After that, no one will be able to get in or out until the blaze subsides. You would burn people's homes. No, the very town itself, along with our foes. Just think of the lives that may be sacrificed. This is the path we have chosen. There's little choice left to us if we wish to survive. We must win, whatever the cost. Prepare for battle.
How fare you, Benedict? My preparations are complete. I trust you're ready as well, my lord? <sighs> as ready as I shall ever be. We have given ourselves every advantage that we can, my lord. Indeed we have. I only hope that it is enough. My lord, the Esfrosty forces are on the move. And so it begins. Our foe advances. Take up your positions, everyone, and be ready for the signal. Shall we, my lord? Yes. It is time. Doctor, we have two patients. Both with extraordinary fevers. The Rosellen is unresponsive. Well, I can't tend to both unless you can give me two more pairs of arms. Let me help. I've just completed my training and I'll do whatever it takes to save them. Are there no real doctors left? Uh, fine, come. We're losing precious time. Leave the Rosellen. We must prioritize the Believer. Your Holiness, I... As you wish. But the Rosellen will die unless we do something. Do they not teach the order of things in school these days? So what if they do? What does the order of things have to do with saving lives? Not all lives are weighted the same. You would do well to remember that. Quickly, Medina, these people are dying as we bicker. Oh. I couldn't save him. Orders or not, I was the one following them. It's all my fault. Where are you going? Medina! I beg your pardon, Lord Saranoa, but a doctor from the Ministry requests an audience with... My name is Medina. I've heard much about your house and simply had to see it for myself. What insolence is this? Stand down. Pray tell what brings you before me. It is said House Wolfer possesses a relic known as the Scales of Conviction. Is this true? It is. We turn to the Scales for guidance in times of trouble. Then, I wonder if they might guide me forward as well. I... I had a crisis of confidence. A man was counting on me to save his life, and I let him die. I cannot let this happen again. I wish to save all the lives I can, regardless of country or creed. Pray grant me the chance to consult the scales that I might walk the righteous path. The scales are merely a tool to an end. They are not a magical window into the future. When decisions must be made, 
all in this house have a say. We choose as best we're able and strive to ensure we chose wisely. You mean you strive not to regret your decision? That is all one can do. Forgive me if this is not the answer you sought. Then would House Wolford accept my aid if I offered it, my lord? If you would serve as a doctor, that would be a boon. For we fear the war shall not end soon. I would be honored, my lord. I would see what I could do to rewrite the order of things. Then let us walk the path together. I am at your service, my lord. The battlefield is no place for children. I will have vengeance for my family and for my master. Prepare to die. Empty threats from a pampered prince. You will see what true might is. All's in place, my lord. Ready when you are. Very good. Now, to lure them where we want them and initiate the device. You are aware of what will happen next, yes? Yes. And I am prepared to make the sacrifice. With me, everyone! All companies, advance! Leave no survivors!
my turn. Follow General Avara! Let no Lumber Car survive! The town is surrounded, and enemies flood in by the moment. We knew getting into this that we'd be outnumbered, but victory's still in the cards if we're smart about it. I cannot bear the thought of sacrificing my people. Must I make a callous choice for the greater good? Avora, mark my words. I will send you to the depths of hell by my own hand. Here I come. I shall try my level best. Defeat is not an option. Flee while Whatever you have the chance. I shall do what I can. I fight for peace. For victory! Time to take flight. would set their own home ablaze to bring us down. I must admire the desperation. The wildfire has been successfully deployed. Town! How... terrible! General Avora! The 2nd Regiment has arrived! Forward! Leave no trace! Quail not to their numbers! I see a path to victory. Flee 
while you have the chance. I'll do my utmost. Cool heads shall prevail. I'll take you on! Let us pry out their weakness. This shall be a boon. Forward! My shield. Let me heal your wounds. What I need. Come at me. Where was I? The results are in, and excellent. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Splendid! I see the threads of battle more clearly. I fight for peace. It worked! 
Defeat is not an option. Shall we begin? This will help. I've been waiting for this! Let us pry out their weakness. Time to take flight! Defeat is not an option. Let me show you what I've learned. I won't lose! Did you see that? I grow ever stronger! Flee while you have the chance! I'll do my utmost. Thank you. Ah. Ah. You've done it now. 
Got something up my sleeve. Time to take flight. There is no mercy on the battle. Splendid! Cool heads shall prevail. My thanks. One step closer to our hope. I've been waiting for this. Four. I must grow. My turn. While you have the chance. Very effective. Whatever it takes. Here you go. You have my gratitude. For the people. Here you go. Much appreciated. Gods can't be! Go! Time to take flight.
let us pry out their weakness. father do. Let me heal your wounds. The tides are turning. Is that all you got? Now or never! My pride is my shield. Whatever it takes. Let me show you what I've learned. I shall try my level best. Cool heads shall prevail. Of 
further the arcane arts. What do you do now? I'll try this. Allow me. From where shall we strike? This is bad. shall prevail. I needed that. You won't beat me! Here you go. Sorry to worry you. I see a path to victory. My turn. Wolford! I need this. Let me show you what I've learned. Here I come. My turn. There is no mercy on the battlefield. Shall we begin? You have my thanks. Face me if you dare. You won't beat me! For the greater good. Here you go. It was close. Here you go. I owe you. For the people. The hunt is on. Shall we strike?
I fight for peace. I won't lose! Let us pry out their weakness. I'll be fine. Let me heal your wounds. Must appreciate it. Oh. I've been waiting for this. The hunt is on. of House Walford. Sure. For the future of House Wolford. Allow me. Most appreciated. Here you go. A thousand thanks. Shall we begin? My thanks. My growth is plain to see. Ah. I've been waiting for this. Ah, 
can't be! I see a path to victory. Here I come. Face me if you dare. Allow me. Been better. Yes, I did it. Now then, to work. To further the arcane arts. I won't lose! Forward! Shall we begin? The tides are turning. I'll take you on! There is no mercy on the battlefield. Here I come. Face me I can't if you give dare. Up now. I won't lose. Time for some research. I fight for peace. Forward! Cool heads shall prevail. That'll keep me going. I've been waiting for this! Let us pry out their weakness. This battle is ours! While you have the chance. Ah. For the greater good. Forward. Now then, to work. On. Let me show you what I've learned. I see a path to victory. Shall we begin? Just in time. You won't beat me! For victory! This 
I will crush I'll do my you. utmost. Try this! Yes! I did it! Try this! For the honor of House Walford! This ends here! That hit the mark! Leave it to me! For my kith and kin. This battle is ours. I shall try my level best. Where was I? Allow me. My turn. Cool heads shall prevail. I've been waiting for this. Flee Tell while you have flight. the chance. Whatever it takes. House Wolfer. There is no mercy on the battlefield. I won't lose. Now then, to work. I fight for peace. I shall do what I can. I will remember. You won't beat me! Time to take flight. I will crush Whatever you. it takes. Four. There is no mercy on the battle. For victory! I shall do what I can. Thank you. One step closer to our hope. I will end this. I've been waiting for this. Flee while From you where have shall the we strike? Whatever it takes. There is no mercy on the back. I won't lose. The hunt is on. Time for some research. Charge! 
From where shall we strike? I see a path. Let me it. heal your wounds. Flee while you have the chance. I'll do my utmost. I will end this. This battle is ours. Oh, few have ever wounded me, and fewer still live to tell of it. You have courage, I'll give you that. But this is as far as that will take you. My turn. I see a path to victory. So, it falls to me. From where shall we strike? Flee while you have the chance. <sighs> I'll do my utmost. Let me heal your wounds. Much better. I've been waiting for this. Here I come. I will end this. Charge! There is no mercy on the battlefield. Defeat is not an option. Where was I? I will crush you! Ha! Oh my lord! This will hurt! Avlora, you murderous bastard! You'll pay for what you've done! You will share the same fate as your master! Here I come! My pride is my shield. For the greater good. Try this! <laughs> yes! I did it! Try this! <laughs> that serves for the people! Cool heads shall prevail. Have we no choice but to retreat? Master, we prevailed. The mad bastards! To think they would set their own people's homes ablaze! Retreat! All companies withdraw at once! Victory is ours. Though both sides suffer great losses on the battlefield, in the end, it is House Wolfort that triumphs.
The vanquished General of Vlora is forced to retreat to Castle Whiteholm with the Esfrosti army in tow. I have no words to excuse my failure, Your Grace. I underestimated the Woolfort army. It will not happen again. Indeed, it will not. I will accept no apology for your incompetence, save victory. Wolforts may have gotten the better of us this time, but it came at a cost. We must strike again before they can regroup. Rest yourself of Laura. I will have need of you yet, and soon. I shall not disappoint you again, Your Grace. You have my word. And you will keep it. Nothing and no one will stand in my way. I will help as well. My falcon can assist with clearing the rubble. My thanks to you both. Your aid is most welcome. I am ready. Go safely, Anna, and give my best to the others. We take a risk in entreating a powerful nation for aid. I need you to determine to what extent we can rely on them, if at all. Leave it to me. I've sent Anna to the holy state of Hyzant. Our alliance may not be what it once was, but we must seek help wherever it may be found. In a perfect world, we would be able to count on the cooperation of our neighbors here. Indeed, unity within Glenbrook is of the utmost priority, especially now that we've ensured Prince Roland's safety.
And yet, we cannot count on houses Tellior and Falks to act in our best interests. We must prepare ourselves for every contingency. You are right as always, Benedict. We've taken the first step down our chosen path, but there is no telling what awaits us. To be quite frank, I underestimated House Wolford's strength. To think they were capable of driving off the S. Frosty army forces like that. I suspect the outcome came as a surprise to the Archduke as well. And yet something tells me Wolford's victory is more than a fluke. I shall keep that in mind. Still... This development is to our advantage. This will only make it easier to carry out our plans. Just so, Your Excellency. Everything is proceeding as you anticipated. Yes. We shall have our way. It is but a matter of time. House Wolfort triumphed? Yes, my lord. The Archduke's army has already withdrawn to the Crown City. That said, it would seem the Wolfort army suffered significant casualties. Did it now? It is not as if I entirely failed to consider the possibility of an Esfrasi defeat. And yet, it is hardly an ideal development. Whatever are we to do now? Wolfort may have won the battle, but can they win the war? Hmm. My lord? Ready a bird. I have a missive that needs sending. As you command. You have a moment, Your Highness. Oh, it's you. As silly as it may sound, I've never truly understood what it meant to be royalty. Does my life carry more weight simply because of the blood in my veins? So much so that the lives of others must be sacrificed in my name? You need not worry about that, Roland. Lord Wolfort speaks true. 
The scales of conviction guided us, but this decision was ours. We have chosen to walk this path with you. I was born the second prince. No one expected great things of me. And yet, simply because I had the good luck to survive, my very existence now necessitates all these sacrifices. If I may be so bold, it was not luck, your highness. We protected you. <laughs> I know this, of course. That's what makes this so hard. You all fought and continue to fight for me. And I can scarcely take care of myself. I need to become stronger. I must. For my own sake, and for yours. <laughs> <laughs>